Good morning, good evening, good day, everyone. This is Sherry Stewart, doula in Blaine, Minnesota, and I'm going to do a little video on going past your due date. So remaining pregnant after the guesstimate date that you have been told regarding when your baby would be born. So this is a fascinating topic to me because I have birthed three children and my first was born almost 19 years ago, which is crazy to say. And at that time, I was told that he was due on December 12th. Well, December 12th came and went, not surprisingly, because 81% of first-time pregnancies, a woman has not delivered her baby until after her due date, and 61% of subsequent pregnancies go past their due date. Now, I was young, I was 25 when I was pregnant with my first baby, and I was eager to meet him. I was a little bit uncomfortable, and five days after my due date had come and gone, I started to leak a tiny bit of fluid. And so I excitedly told my obstetrician, I think that I'm leaking amniotic fluid, and he said, all right, well, let's induce you, let's get this labor going. Well, had I known then what I know now, I would have waited. I would have just let my body do its thing, wait to see if contractions would start on their own. I was not leaking amniotic fluid like you see in the movies where your water bursts and it leaks out on the floor. This was like a quarter-sized amount of amniotic fluid in my underwear. So this was not something where there were really any concerns or risks for me at the time. Now, I am bringing this up because, as I said, most women go past their due dates. It feels like throughout our pregnancies, we have this enormous focus on the due date. Everyone's asking you, when are you due? You maybe have it marked with a little star on your calendar. You have your heart set on that day. But really, we would do our psyches good if we thought about the due date as an estimate and more like a due week or couple of weeks because every baby is going to come out, right? Sometimes they're going to come out at 40 weeks, 41 weeks, 42 weeks. And when we have our heart set on a certain date and we are eager to have the baby on or around that date, we are more likely if we haven't done preparation and haven't done our research, to listen to suggestions to start performing interventions after our due date has come and gone. And if we do some research on those interventions, we find that it's not best for our babies to be induced to come out. Instead, we need to let our bodies do their jobs. How our bodies go into labor is actually still a mystery. Um, science knows that there are hormones that work together, the baby and the pregnant mom work together in tandem for labor to begin, but we still don't know exactly what it is that starts labor. So it's, it's best to be patient. It's healthiest for the baby, healthiest for your body to wait and let baby come when baby is ready and when your body is ready. Um, instead of considering your due date the day that your baby is going to come, I would consider your due date as the day that you should start really, really babying yourself as much as you can. So look, mark that date on your calendar with a star to remind yourself that on that day, you should be doing things like, this sounds crazy a little bit now, but when I was pregnant with my first 19 years ago, we were required to wear business casual dress to work. And when my due date came and went, my feet were swollen and uncomfortable. And so I went to my boss and asked for permission to wear comfortable tennis shoes to work instead of dress shoes. So just little things like that where you ask for some grace, ask for some things that you can do for yourself to um, rest and gear up for the big event, but um, not put any pressure on that date for it being the actual day that your baby is going to be born. Um, if you are a Christian, you could use this time to pray and ask God to prepare your body, ask God to give you a peace about when baby will make their arrival. Um, 
you will be ready when your body is ready, but then you will also get your heart, mind, and soul ready for the delivery. And instead of being disappointed, you will just be prepping yourself for the miracle that is soon to happen.